Chris has got a big fish here, guys. Oh my gosh. Is it a monster? It's a oh, it's a monster. Oh, oh, it's a monster. Fish on, baby. That's a big one. Oh, we got a big one. It's a football. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Chased down. We're being chased by now. Oh, oh, he's so fat. All right, guys, we're at this random gas station and we just met up with Chris and I'm surprised we met Ashley and Charlie as well. I had to make sure that everyone gets to meet Charlie. Charlie, do you want to say hi to like everyone? Look at that. So we're going to hit the road now. We got to backtrack a little bit. Chris and I were going to go to his awesome spot and uh, he tells me that there's like football shaped mutant trout over there. Should be some big ones. Some, yeah. some big ones. Yeah. So I brought a little net to make the trout look bigger, but he said we need a bigger net. So luckily he brought a really big net along. So we'll, I don't know, we'll maybe see you later or yeah, something. And uh, yeah, Have thank fun. you. Thank you. Let's, <laughs> let's, let's go get some. <laughs> she doesn't listen very well. That's because she's a husky. Oh. <laughs> Oh guys, all right, we just, we got to the river here. This is not the final spot, but we had to do a test pass. <laughs> I didn't even have the GoPro rolling yet. And uh, Chris hooked into, well, we got a little, little rainbow? Yep. Dude. I'm gonna try and get closer to the water. <sighs> okay, so. The bank's pretty steep. Yeah, this might be a good day of fishing, guys. This is like, on, we're not even at the fishing spot. So we let that one go. We're, we're looking for big ones. We're going to release a lot of trout today, guys. We're not looking to limit here or anything. Um, that was really cool. First cast or something? Yeah. Dude, cast. this might be a killer day of fishing, guys. That was just a small one. There's some big monsters in here. Check out, that's just a little cast master uh, that we're going to use for right now. We're just messing around right now. I'm not like super worried about uh, catching every fish because this is not where the big ones are going to be. Um, so I just put a little single point hook on there. We'll later when we use the bullet lure, uh, we're going to use the treble hook just to make sure that we don't lose a monster all of a sudden. Um, we're going to try and retain at that point. But right now we're just having some fun. So it's actually, I think it's a barbless hook too. I pinched down the barb. Yeah, that's like his fifth fish. I haven't even gotten this lure in the water yet. It's, look at it, it's dry. So let me see here. First cast. There we go. We're in the water. Unfortunately, also right in the sun for you. Sorry, I'll try and get to a spot where the sun's not gonna blind uh, you guys. All right, guys, this is the drift right here. This is where it's gonna happen. Oh, there we go, fish on! <laughs> wow, slammed that thing. Oh yeah, we gotta, for these little guys, I'd wanna use the ultra light rod. Here's just a little guy. Put up a good fight though, dang. All right, we'll do an instant release. Don't even wanna touch him. There you go, little guy. Thank you so much for uh, being my first fish. Right off, come on. There we go, and there he zoomed off. Dude, I'm, I'm so excited to be out here, guys. This is going to be so much fun. Okay, let's, uh, we'll do a few more casts, and then we'll start moving to the actual fishing hole. This whole ditch probably is just, I mean, the whole thing has to be stacked with trout, right? Are you ready to go try better Yeah, I'm ready to start going somewhere else. I'm going to throw one cast. There's just, I kept seeing this one fish surface back here. So let me do, I'll, I'll do the famous last cast of this spot. Famous last cast. Oh, that's a fish. <laughs> oh, he's a jumper. Oh, look at him. <laughs> Man, dude, these trout are fighting so hard here. I love it. Oh, absolutely. This is an overkill rod, guys. This is like a big old general purpose ugly stick. I brought a little tiny finesse rod. Look at this guy. I don't want to touch him. My hands are dry. Gorgeous little trout, though. So we're just going to pop him right off the hook. We're using a barbless single point so he's not hurt at all. Up, oh, fell in the mud there. Go. Awesome. He swam right off. Oh, okay. Well, it's time now to go hunt for some monsters, but this was a good warm up. I don't want to like hurt my wrists by fighting a monster right away. So we just had to warm up a little bit. My, actually the only pain I've had in my wrist was from kayaking three days in a row. 
kayaking hard to try and catch you guys a trout, but uh, it didn't happen. That's why we didn't have a video last week. I just, I felt terrible about that guys. But this week, well, guess what? We're gonna have a video. <laughs> You're watching it right now. Doors open on the car. Look at that guys. Someone could have just grabbed the car and taken off. I'm pretty sure the keys are in the ignition. <laughs> that's uh. That's, that's how bad life part of the fish. This could turn into a survival video really fast. <laughs> We'd make a fire with some of this semi-dry sagebrush, sagebrush and uh, <laughs> cook trout for the rest of our lives until someone finds us out here. All right, guys, we're at the uh, spot where we're gonna we're gonna try for some biggins here. This is uh, <laughs> check this out on the middle of freaking nowhere. Let's go see the water and see how fishy this looks. Beautiful here. Guys, it might be time for the bullet lure. We, we might do the bullet lure now. It, it, it might happen, dude. I'd do it. Are you ready for it? I'm not ready. You're not ready? No. I don't, I might not be ready either. Let's, <laughs> I'm ready for it. I'm ready, let's do this. Are you guys ready for it? You, I think you are, I think you are. Oh, car's locked. That's how oh, excited I am right now. <laughs> All right, guys, so this area could have some total monsters. So we're gonna use the bullet lure now. We do have a treble hook on there. So because if we do hook a fish badly, we're gonna retain it. If we do see a lot of small fish, we'll put a single uh, point hook on there. But check this bad boy out. I hope you're ready for it because it's happening. Chris is already over there with a bobber and a worm. We'll probably hear him scream here in a second. All right, guys, check out this little tiny micro rod here that we're gonna use. I'm gonna throw you guys on my head. We're gonna go over. We're gonna do this first cast together. See what happens. Check out that bullet lure, guys. Man, this thing is just, I'm so excited to get it in the water. What do you guys think? Are we gonna get one? What do you got on there? Uh, eggs or a worm? A worm? I side a worm. Almost like I'm still fishing. I think I got too much weight on First, first cast. There. Bullet lure is in there. Oh, that's a fish. Fish on, baby. That's a big one. Oh, we got a big one. <laughs> oh, he's a big boy. He's a big boy. I'll come down here and I'll try oh. oh, oh, he's so big. Oh, he's big. Oh. I'll come down here, too. Oh, 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 look at him. Look at him. Oh, he's a monster. Dude, how, okay, let's see how he hooked. I don't know if I want to keep him. No, I wouldn't keep him. He looks. Like Do you think we'll catch spot. more big ones like oh, that? Oh yeah, this is not even that big, dude. <laughs> dude, unbelievable! Look at this thing. Get some of the grass. Out. First cast with the bullet lure. All right, guys. So we're gonna take a look at this trout. What we're gonna do? Just good practice if you're handling trout is just wet your hands real quick first. That way you don't take the slime off of them. Check out that fish, guys. This is such a big fish. So we'll just hold him, let him breathe. That's um, super important for trout to reduce the mortality rate is let them go on their own terms. Don't just throw them in the water if they've been out for a while. Um, Cause oftentimes if they start drifting or go belly up, they might not be able to resurrect. This way, if he goes off strong, he'll make it. See how his tail's a little mutated guys? Isn't that weird? All right, what do you think big guy? You ready? Oh, he's ready, he's ready. There he goes. Perfect, so he swam off perfectly, went out, and now he's sitting uh, face up in the river there. Dude, <laughs> let's go, that was unbelievable. <laughs> All right guys, that was the first cast on this bullet lure right here, so super excited. I'll tell you in a little bit in the video, we're gonna do a giveaway today, first giveaway I've ever done to celebrate 10,000 subscribers, really just to thank all of you guys, but let's catch some more fish first. What do you think, Chris? I think we should need to get after it. We need to get after it. Look at this hole, guys. This is exactly what we're talking about. Unfortunately, there's a lot of agricultural, like, I don't know, are those like hay bale bags or something? But what it's creating is this big, like a pool behind there that there's, I guarantee you, there's some trout sitting in there. Oh, that looks good though, too. Everything here looks good. So before we walk there and potentially spook anything, we're gonna cast up there and just spin through this real quick. Oh, that's a fish. <laughs> oh, he came off. Perfect. Instant release. No, nah, it was kind of a, it was a small one. Big 
one. Big one. Oh, Chris has got a big fish here, guys. Oh my god. Is it a monster? It's a monster. Oh, it's a monster. Oh, it's a monster. It is a monster. It's a beast. Holy cow. Oh, dude. Okay, we'll try and gently net this guy. I'm going to try and come down with you because he's going to try and get me caught up. Okay, yeah, let me know whenever you're ready. Oh, oh, oh. I might, uh, do you want me to net from below? Uh, Just let me know when you're ready. I'm not going to rush it or anything. Guys, this is a monster right there. That's a big trout. That's even bigger than the one that I just uh, had there earlier. Oh, 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 no, not ready. Ah, yeah. Got him. Barely Jeez. Him. We'll probably take him home. That's a nice fish. That, that might be a keeper. That is a big, big fish. Dude, that's the size of a steelhead, man. <laughs> I told, I told you, man. <laughs> oh, yeah, let's bring him up here because we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna keep him. Chris and I were both gonna retain. Uh, we'll each retain like one today, I think. Yeah, one or two. One or two. The limit. Two. Is it a two fish limit? All. I don't know. I'm a, depends on what we catch if we retain it or not. I definitely wanted to keep one big one because these guys here apparently have super red meat. Um, I'll probably just keep one. I'll keep one. Dude, he's barely hooked too. Is he? He's barely oh, hooked. Oh yeah, he's right. barely hooked. All right, dude, what the heck do we have here, man? Check this out. This is a monster, guys. This is like a salmon. <laughs> All right, show this fish off. Let's get a good uh, good peek at this. Dude, on freaking real. Took a worm. Gorgeous, gorgeous fish. Guys, as always, if you're out fishing, just uh, you know, look for a little bit of trash laying around. I just found this kind of close to where we parked. So grab that. We're gonna uh, switch spots, go somewhere else. Um, oh, you found a little bit of something too. Obviously, if you're fishing, don't litter, don't litter. But I know, I think most of us, we don't do that. Uh, but do just take a minute to pick up some stuff. It's fun, I sincerely enjoyed actually. So I'll just walk a little bit before we take off, clean up the spot. Guys, I just wanted to point this out. Chris just said that that's a, a, a pot farm over there. And it makes sense, like that farm, I don't know if you guys can see, but there's like tons of security cameras, fences, maybe some barbed wire or razor wire or... Dang, oh, there's there's dogs following us. Oh, we're being chased out. We're being chased by, oh! Oh, he's so fast. Oh, he's fast. Oh! <laughs> Oh, he was like a Rottweiler that Oh, he's still chasing us. No, he stopped again. He gave up. He gave up. We were close to his property, probably. Holy cow, <laughs> he just stormed out of the field. All of a sudden, two dogs. There was a little dog behind him, but that one guy, he caught up to us. He was going fast. <laughs> All right, guys, remember I said that we are doing a giveaway in this video. I'm super excited to do this, and we are doing the giveaway to celebrate hitting 10,000 subscribers, so it's really a thank you to you guys. To celebrate 10,000 subscribers, we are making 10 more bullet lures, and to make the bullet lure, we have to start somehow by getting some brass um, to make these little guys, so check this out. These are uh, nine millimeter uh, Luger cartridges right there. This is a World War II uh, German Luger. Uh, it was built in 1941. Uh, it actually has still an old Nazi marking right there. Um, I'm not sure, maybe we'll get a close up of that. You know, a lot of people think that the gun thing's a little controversial and people believe both sides. I'm not political with the whole thing. I just simply enjoy the hobby. I hope you guys do too. So let's have a little fun. Load this magazine real quick. I've got five shots here. The magazine, I believe, holds eight. But uh, I'm just going to do two loads of five. And this puppy is ready to go. So let's see if we can hit that steel and uh, get us some brass for these uh, lures. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> oh, missed it. Uh, that was some horrible shooting on my part. Last one skimmed it. A three out of five, still not good, but better than the first time around. So these are three of the brass holes that I've already picked up. I'm gonna get all 10 of them. Then we'll take them home uh, and turn them into bullet lures. So let's take a quick look at how we make those and get back to the river and catch another monster trout. 
All right, this year is a reloading press and this year is the bullet lure that we're gonna try and create on this press here with the brass that we just made. And let's make this lure like really fast because we're gonna get right back to fishing. We caught one more ridiculous fish that day and uh, you guys, you're, you're gonna love it. You can see there's a little hole in there. What we're gonna do now is punch out that old primer because we need room for that uh, that stainless wire to go through so that we can tie up the lure. This guy is a, it's called a resizing die. It's gonna shape it back to its original shape because when uh, brass gets fired, it grows in size. So we're gonna push up. Boom, and it just punched that primer out at the same time as resizing. So now it comes down. Here, I'll show that to you. See, now it's missing that little primer and we've actually, look at that, we've got a hole in there. Now this over here, this die, uh, it's going to just open up that mouth a little bit so that we can fit that bullet in there. So now this is all happening at the same time. So these guys here, they've already got their holes in and you can see all the way through there. So I'm just gonna place that bullet right on there. And check it out. It's gonna go into this die and what that does is it seats that bullet and crimps shut that flare again. All right, so here we go. We got our dummy cartridges. All right, we're in my shop now. Uh, this here is a little lure tying tool. So this here is some stainless steel wire. I cut it off. I've got like a pre-made measurement right there. Uh, that much works perfectly for me. Then all I do is bend this guy uh, down. I've got kind of my measurements all figured out. So that's how much of a bend I need. Uh, this is where we're gonna attach the hook now. All right, so here comes our little uh, Mustad treble hook. You could use any other type of hook too if you wanted to. Then uh, I'm just gonna give that wire a preliminary bend like that. Open this tool, slide that through and close that tool down on it. And then all I do is spin that little guy. Got that bottom part with the hook on it. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and assemble this uh, bullet lure here. And in order to enter into this giveaway, uh, it's really, really simple. All that you gotta do is of course be subscribed to the channel. Um, if you're brand new to the channel, well, this is what I do on a weekly basis. Oh, there, couldn't find the hole. Um, I upload every single week awesome fishing videos, so if you wanna subscribe, uh, feel free to, and then hit that notification bell so you don't miss uh, those weekly uploads uh, when I get them out there. All right, so we've got that little clevis through that hole on the French blade. Now all we gotta do is poke the wire through that clevis, and we are like almost there. So let me just finish explaining how you can win one of these lures. Uh, so obviously be subscribed, smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm. And then the final thing, this is the fun part, is drop a comment below on this video uh, in which other of my videos you've seen one of these bullet lures before. That's right, it's been in my videos before, in several actually, so you don't need to name the first or anything, just another video. Um, and what do we catch with it? So drop that comment below. All right, so now we're just spinning this guy here. Little top loop there for your line. And the bullet lure is complete. Maybe I'll even make more than 10 of these. I just wanna try and give a bunch of stuff away to you guys. So I'll be announcing the winners of the bullet lure in next week's video. I'll just like randomly with my eyes closed, like scroll through the comments and point at 10 different people that'll win them. Uh, we'll get in touch then and I'll get these guys too. So that gives you guys one whole week to find the bullet lure in another video and drop your comments. Now let's go ahead and get back to the river because like this next fish, you're gonna to wanna to see this. All right guys, so we are approaching the, the next fishing spot. This is like way the heck out here. We're wading through like, we're not wading through, but kind of stomping through a bunch of cattail um, grasses and kind of swampy. Whew, that was awesome. I love that kind of stuff. So made it through, no broken rod tips. Now we're out in the open again, getting close. Oh, wow, it is kind of deep here. Wow, look at all of this. The sun just might kill us. Yeah. Got one? Yeah, nice one. Oh. Oh, it is a big one. 
Oh, dude, it's it's peeling. Oh, yeah, I'll get everything out of the net. I thought I was on the bottom. <laughs> yeah. Oh, dang. Wow, a Cromer, too. Oh, this rod, this is ridiculous. <laughs> Shit, that's going to be another nice one to keep. Dang. Oh, is he taking you down, you think, or are you? I can find him. Six pounds Dude, he's a bruiser. He's a nice fish in this cave. That is a nice looking fish, man. Look at the color on that. Ooh. Whoa. <laughs> Quick sand. <laughs> this is the moment when you want to like put it on a different rod. Your arm starts hurting really bad. <laughs> Jeez, beautiful fish. I'll try to walk her down here to, to you. Oh. Yeah. Dude, it's a football. Yeah. It's a football. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Yeah, that one's going to have to go home. <laughs> you might have had your two fish here, huh? Yeah, yeah I, I would have a hard time releasing that. Dude, it's, it's a football. Yeah. <laughs> it's a freaking football. Wow. Unreal. Look at it, it's, it's obese. <laughs> <laughs> That's a fat trout. Let's, okay, so we're attending this guy? Yeah. Okay, cool. Then we'll pull him out of the water. Otherwise, we left him there. That is a freaking chunk just the head shakes on this fish were just unreal jeez jeez look how fat it is that's take that bass fisherman you guys might have chunks but this is a this this is a football this is fatter than your guys's bass unreal look at that fish look at the belly on that thing Wow, that is freaking cool. Now, and guys, one thing um, I want to say too, these are not like wild fish. These are planters, right? Yeah, they're planted as fingerlings by the Department of Fish and Wildlife. Planted as fingerlings. I was hoping today to see one of these fat, obese, football-shaped trout, and they, and they get fatter. I mean, that's the thing, guys, is some of these trout get absolutely ginormous. Like I know in Idaho, they've got some huge, huge, there's just one place where you're not allowed to retain them. So they get just huge and they're triploids and they're just, they look literally like a football. I mean, it's disgusting. There's bigger ones in here and you know, yeah. you come back, you might get them, you know, yeah. they're, they're in here and you just gotta be persistent and spend some time out here. So. We'll be back, we'll be back. You'll be back too, you'll see plenty more. So make sure if you're brand new to the channel, subscribe, that way you don't miss the weekly fishing adventures that I upload. We're gonna do more steelhead fishing soon too. Hopefully we can get one of those on the bullet lure. Make sure to uh, drop your comments and get those bullet lures, guys. I wanna make sure that we send all of them out to you. Um, so I always feel like I'm forgetting something, but um, I think we'll leave it at that. See you guys next week. Until then, you know what, fish on!